This week in political news, glory to the eternal king of joy! our new political show where authoritarianism is hip and cool. I cannot tell where you got this video from, but if it did not come directly from an official Soy King certified source, I must let you know 240p politics is now available on our FTP server. Most internets are too slow to download our trustworthy political news, so please pass your copy around and spread the word. We are recruiting ordinary folks like you to join the tribute to the eternal king of joy. We have free pizza, and we listen to Skaven just like you. Glory to the eternal king of joy. King of Soy is gaining momentum rapidly and has successfully offended all of the idiotic whales with great justice. It is funny to watch them cry. However, the whales are now commencing an unfair attack on the Eternal King of Soy's righteousness. This is unacceptable. Only we are allowed to give negative press about others. Glory to the Eternal King of Soy. Controversial policy was implemented at the Maroon Whales Committee where all members of the Tribute to the Eternal King of Soy are no longer allowed to have a say in any policies regarding the future of the thing. This will not stand and we will take over the committee and bar all Maroon Whales from the policy decisions. We are always correct. Thank you for being submissive to us instead of the Maroon Whales. Glory to the Eternal King of Soy. Thank 
the documents. This week in political news, the colossal dunces at Jimbo Video have recently released another incompetent computer video in a smug attempt to defend their impotence. An internal member of the Tribute to the Eternal King of Soy noticed that the 32-bit difference contains malicious anti-soy subliminal messages. This is extremely bad and dumb. Instead of allowing your kids to watch the filth that is another one of Jimbo's magnetic excrements, we hereby urge you to brainwash them with Soy King approved videos instead, as they contain correct and factual subliminal messages that will point you in the right direction. Glory to the eternal King of Soy. The internet belongs to the eternal king of soy. <laughs> Give us all your money! <laughs> Sorry to the eternal king of soy. This week's political news say you'd be hallucinating. This is not a show about politics. The good thing about it is that it will not alienate the viewers of any hard direction. We don't care about anything, glory to the nobody day is not real. To the other report of strange activity... This week in political news, you may have thought it was a report from the future, but it is actually just me in the present. Now on to today's report. Glory to the eternal king of soy.
week in political news, people have been asking us how to install two 3Com ISA network cards into a computer and enable IRQ sharing. Don't worry, I have the answer. The answers. First, you take one card and place it into the computer as I am depicting here. Then you take another card and place it outside of the computer. Then you connect the two cards with an ISA cord. That is how you install a hard drive. Glory to the eternal king of soy. Everything is fine, says the eternal king of joy. Glory to the eternal king of joy. fucking raining outside. Some people prefer to have instrumental precision in their measurements of the current weather and overall climate, but we think they are nerds for having that habit. All you need to do is walk outside and see if there are clouds in the sky or not. 240p Politics keeps the weather simple by telling you when it's okay to look up at the sky. As the sun will burn your eyes unless the eternal king of soy gets in his way, saying, Not today, sun! To which the clouds drift above us, and we can exclaim to outer space, Glory to the eternal king of soy! And the moon! 
movie has 12 more! Okay, has 12 more. Guys, I'm the new reporter. I'm new and hip. Check me out. I'm new here. I'm really new and will replace the old reporter from now on. I'm going to be great. I'm new. Please be nice and constructive. Okay, bye. You forgot to say glory to the eternal king of soy. I should have known better than to let a stupid whale lover replace my role. Glory to the eternal king of soy. Okay, but why have you shoot me? This is me! I want to be a good guy! In political news, the 240p politics crew is asking for your help to expand its reach to other states, provinces, and or nations. Help us create many more new political news for the universe from your location and your primary language and the natural charisma of the Eternal King of Soy will mobilize your area of residence to kneel before the Eternal King of Soy. Please remember to wear proper attire for your political news reporting. I hate Glory hearing to this show, King of Swords is dumb. Weekend political news, emerging reports from various sources of both affiliated and unaffiliated with the tribute to the Eternal King of Soy confirm the emergence of a new enemy. This enemy is a young maroon whale who stands out prominently from the others as a highly active activist that has been stifling countless efforts made by the tribute to the Eternal King of Soy left and right, including blocking the entrance to the Soy King approved grocery store that I like to go to every week to get my soy ingredients. I just want to buy the ingredients I need to... to I just want to buy the ingredients I need to make me some kinako. Why are you putting politics in front of my grocery shopping? Glory to the eternal king of soy. Political news. Sea World's computers have been hacked by a man running through the offices, spreading a computer virus to ruin them. The computers were spending the R. It's impossible that they could have been hacked. 
Thank you, Joe, and our free world, a great hypocrisy justified plus are still operating by their internal king of swords, used to waste extra time recovering from the incident. The one year enhancement identified as Jimbo because the eternal king of swords had so. Glory to the eternal king of swords. In political news, the debate has sparked over whether people should call back the trust's phone number. Barney Brash complained that soliciting phones is bad and dumb, while A Smart Stop is insisting must spam him with talk praising the eternal king of swords. As 240 Peacock has been a mutual reporting organization based in Atlantis, New Jersey, we will leave you to decide on this matter. However, the eight smart shoppers are right. Please call back to Buffy and tell him he is evil. Explain why he is evil. This is local TV, where we can manipulate the entire town. Glory to the eternal king of joy. to directly vote on what food everyone is required to eat every day. The four choices were soy, pizza, soy sauce, and cookies. Soy won by an overwhelming majority because the soy is the good. All hail the eternal king of soy. that Scott Bash the Fox has written a virus which is scheduled to issue a Supreme Leader Alert on October 8, 1998 at 6.47 p.m. for approximately 26 hours. The alert reads the following, Please make way for the glorious parade of the Lunar Whales. The Maroon Whales are now at your town and will control you forever. You are mandated to follow their orders without question. That is the message which this flatulent virus delivers. Please ignore the alert in any maroon rail orders issued to you as an individual or collective. For best results, turn off your computer on October 8th, 6.17 p.m. until October 9th, 9.17 p.m. Glory to the eternal king of joy.
making it down with the internal team of souls. This weekend, political news, a lack of attendance of the state fair. <laughs> Glory to the eternal king of story. This week in political news, the well-known reporter for 240p Politics, which is called Samson McLarson, was arrested on the charge of rail padding and redirecting glory to Wales instead of the eternal king of soy. This unforgivable act of treason is not only disgusting for displaying non-cute affection towards Wales, but it sets a deathly precedent for future political news. Will the future of 240p politics become plastered with extreme whale bias? We are doing intense screening for a new reporter that will keep soy in our media and eradicate all wrong things. The ball of Roy will pay for its crimes. Loving whales is a crime, and so is hardware piracy, and also cookie piracy. Glory to the eternal king of soy. In political news, the next generation of the internet robots have been released, and they look ugly as bums. I could have designed something better scratching my fingernails on a chocolate on a chocolate board. Uh, did I mean to say chalkboard? You know, I was told to rename my channel to something that doesn't have the word politics in it, but, um... I found a workaround, I just renamed it politics. That's politics, but it starts with a B. Glory to the eternal king of soy. In political news, interceptions of evil and dumb whale broadcasts are becoming more costly due to increased volume levels of the whales. Please refer to the documentation of this political news to prepare for watching more 240p politics over on that broadcast channel. Also, free pizza is cancelled until next week. Glory to the eternal king of soy.
Oh no, the excellent new management at Bimbo Video is firing their entire instructional video department in order to further advertise the glory of the eternal king of stories. This is important as they will get everyone to up their new thing instead of demanding more instructional videos for hardware and software that will be obsolete in two years. Why wait for a Windows 98 tutorial when Windows 2000 will be here soon? Then Windows 2002, and then Windows 2004. Just focus on bowing to the eternal king of story instead. It's much more practical for our money. Glory to the eternal king of story. This week is political news. Some employees of Jimbo Video ran off with a master copy of an upcoming documentary which was supposed to be released next year. This documentary was supposed to encourage people working in technology and biology fields to join the tribute to the Eternal King of Soy so we could use them to create the most true-to-life artificial intelligence possible for the purpose of further empowering the Eternal King of Soy. Currently, we have no knowledge of whether the documentary was butchered with whale propaganda or not, as Jimbo Video's new boss reports that all source material for the documentary has disappeared as well. The staff responsible for the incident has been previously integral to many pro-whale propaganda projects like the 32-bit Defari to the Eternal King of Soy. political news. We have found a random person on the street to interview about the issue of negative influences on society caused by whales. I do think there is some negative influence whale lovers are imposing on us. I do worry about their tactics becoming more extreme lately. You know, beating anyone up or just walking out of the grocery store with a bottle of soy sauce, you know, I think that's unacceptable and it gave the whales a bad name. Um, you know, the poor guy doesn't even know what the whale soy war is, probably, but I think we need to follow common sense, and in order to do that, we also need to speak out against the even more dangerous influence of the tribute to the Eternal King of Soy, you know, because they're taking prominent positions of power in many... Well, it seems the dial-up connection has been terminated, but I didn't like what this dude was saying anymore, so there is no reason to be concerned about the termination of the modem connection anymore. Glory to the eternal king of soy. In political news, a highly paranoid man going by the initials. This week in political news, a highly paranoid man going by the initials of MX has resigned from the supervisor seat of the Office of Soy Research and Expansion, believing that the Y2K bug will strike him somehow. As a result of MX's poor spending habits, he has resorted to the practice of selling bootleg Pokemon cards to gullible children such as those who exceptionally stand with the Moro Whale Party due to excessive whale indoctrination in publicly funded educational institutes which are notorious for lecturing millions of pupils on how to keep whale populations thriving. 
and also teaching them how to read and write and perform complex calculations in their heads. This is a very negative influence on society. Actually, I think MX sold me one of those cards too. Uh, glory to the eternal king of soy. Two hundred for the Paradox News two thousand two thousand nine. Now I'm razor back to be. <laughs>